Hey guys, in this video I'm going to review solar charger inverter 48 volts and 5.12 kilowatt hours battery from Kalfa. Inverter is capable to do of 5 kilowatts continuous load for AC side and for PV input side it's able to do 5.5 kilowatts. The battery is 100 amp hour and the recommended continuous power is 50 amps, 75 amps maximum continuous and we can reach up to 125 amps for a short period of time. If you're interested in the review, let's jump into the video. And uh, here's the inverter itself. On the bottom side, we have a switch to turn this on and off. We have AC input output. We have uh, communication ports, battery, PV input. On the left side, we have AC breaker. Uh, here's what we're getting in the package with the inverter and the battery. We have two user manuals, one for battery, one for inverter, with information how to connect inverter modes and uh, for batteries, how to connect them in a the parallel. and. Uh, basically information for these deep switches then we have quick installation guide for inverter warranty card and then we have uh, two reports for inverter and for the battery in the battery cable kit here's what we're getting here's all cables uh, we're getting with the package and this is ac cable to connect grid input or connect inverter to output electrical panel we have a pv cable with mc4 connector screamed on each side this is extension cables then we have short pv cable with a mc4 and the ferrule to connect to inverter and then we have battery cables with a quick release connections one nice feature of this connector is that you cannot connect positive connector to negative terminal and vice versa if I try to connect this, it's not going to lock in the position. Also, we're getting master battery cable kit. In this kit, we're getting cables to connect battery to inverter, communication cable and ground cable. Additionally, I've got communication stick that we can connect to inverter and connect this to Wi-Fi. And here's a battery disassembled. We have 16 cells, all of them with the QR codes and the bus bars welded to terminals. We have four temperature sensors. And uh, then on the left side, right here, we have main negative. For positive, it's uh, right here and it's going to breaker. And then from breaker, it's going to terminals on the front. Cells divided with a metal plate from BMS and all cells secured in a place with the metal brackets. Now I'm going to install inverter for load and capacity test. Right now battery is fully charged, so with the charger it's not accepting any amperage anymore. And now I'm going to do capacity test. For load, I'm going to use 1.5 kilowatts space heater. So let's come back in about three hours and we will see capacity. And here's the results. We're at 42.7 volts. And we've got five kilowatt hours and 98.1 amp hours. And the battery, I guess, is gonna shut down just in a second. For the load test, I'm going to use space heaters, 1.6 kilowatts each heater. And I draw exactly 5 kilowatts, which is a maximum load for inverter. Test was running for about 10 minutes and the inverter and battery didn't shut down. Now I'm going to test voltage. We're drawing 1.6 kilowatts from inverter and from output we're getting 120 volts and this is pure sign output. In this manual we have detailed instruction about all parameters for inverter. Just to highlight what we have here, for charge mode we can set if we want to use grid power to charge the battery or we want to use solar only. And for discharge, we can prioritize as well if we want to use battery first or if we want to use grid power first if it's available. The PDF file for this manual is going to be attached to this video. 
4 PV test, I disconnected 3.5 kW solar array from solar unit and did connect to Calfer inverter. And uh, right now is a winter and it's usually cloudy, so it's hard to get full output. Uh, usually I'm getting about 1.8 kilowatts from a solar arc and I did see the uh, same output on a Kalfa uh, for a short period of time. But as of now we're getting 610 watts. I'm just gonna wait for 20 minutes or one hour to see if uh, we're gonna get any sun. But so far MPPT charge controller looks like it works similar to solar arc unit. When I received battery, it was a slight damage to handles during the shipping. So battery definitely could be packed better and the inverter was delivered fine. Battery and inverter have communication, so when we connect them together with the CAT5 cable, then on the screen right here, we're gonna see what is the state of charge in a percentage for the battery. Now I'm going to set up communication. Connecting inverter to Wi-Fi is a pretty straightforward process. We just to have download Calfo application, create account and sign in, and then application will guide us how to connect to inverter and home Wi-Fi. After connecting inverter to Wi-Fi, we can control this from anywhere. On the home screen, we can see information about charge and discharge. Right now, we, we push into the battery 800 watts and the pulling from inverter 60 watts. By some reason, it doesn't show any negative numbers on a grid because we're pulling energy from a grid right now. Then if we scroll down, we can see battery information, how many amps and watts we're pushing or pulling from the battery. Then we can set up price for kilowatt hour and see any income. Then we have separate screen for PV input. We don't have any panels connected right now. On the status, we see all this information combined. On the chart screen, we can see history and charts about charge and discharge. And then on the menu, last one, we can see equipment information. We can set up rate configuration, price for kilowatt hour. Then we see any logs, if we do have any issues with the inverter. And in the settings page, we can change parameters for inverter. And the same for the battery. We can set priority and the set level of charge and discharge. And we have a few additional options if we click on the three dots on the top right corner. That's all tests I want to perform for this unit. Battery showed 98 amp hours of capacity with 100 amp hours rated capacity. Maybe because it was cold. For inverter, it did uh, perform well with uh, 5 kilowatts of load test with the three space heaters and same for the battery. It was able to supply 90 amps of continuous load. That's all about this video. Thank you for watching and see you later.